so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'll be using python ideal or integrated development environment called idle so which is installed as a part of the python when you install rgis pro so in this video we'll be using a python ideal to perform a basic operation using python command prompt so to start idle so go to the search section and type as an idle so type as a python command prompt So now click the first result called python command prompt. So in the python command prompt uh, window, type idle and enter. And now click enter. So now a new window has been popped up saying python 3.7.10 shell windows. So this command opens the python shell windows. So this is the python shell, uh, shell windows. So now let me minimize it. So here it mentions the python version of 3.7.10. So which was installed with an RGIS Pro with the version of 2.8. And the python commands can be entered here. So now for example, let me uh, let me print as a hello world as an example and click enter. So now I have uh, entered as a hello world. So print hello world. So now click enter. So now you can able to uh, see the result as a hello world. So even uh, through we work for something very simple. I always uh, open a separate uh, separate a new uh, python shell windows so to create new python shell windows go to the file section and click this option called new files so now a new uh, python shell window has been created so now uh, we are using a python outside arcgis pro so the first thing i could do is to import arc python so now let us import our arc python so for that click the enter as import arc python So now I'm going to add a blank line and then a line at the end of the uh, script, end of the uh, print script. So uh, we're gonna, uh, going to add a blank line and then a line at the end of the script, uh, end to the end to sp uh, print script completed. So it's obvious that's what happened. So now I have uh, left uh, a blank line. So now let me type print and now enter a script completed. So now to uh, run the script, Go to the option called run and click this option called run module. So now a new window has say uh, popped up saying save before run or check. So now let us save our script. So now I click OK to save my script. So now let me create a folder called uh, scripts. So now I have created a folder called scripts. And now click this folder and now enter the file name so now i have entered the file name as intro to python idle so now click save so now i have saved it so now you can able to visualize our script has been so the moment we have clicked our save button it has run our code saying the print script completed so it is uh, indicated here the script completed is indicated here in this section so to continue editing our script uh, we can minimize our python shell window so so that i can uh, i could see the python script window so now this is our python script window so this is our python shell window so now let me minimize it so now let us continue editing our codes so now between the two lines uh, i will add another which set uh, a string variable named fc for the feature class so to be a name of the shape file so now we're gonna type as fc equals to so now we're gonna add a folder destination of of that shape file that is our country's boundary layer let me show you that so here you can able to visualize here the country's boundary shape file is located in e folder rgis pro python data source data and data 
so in that we're gonna add this particular we can access this particular uh, shape file called countries so that is any 10 meters admin zero countries so now let me get back to our python script window so now we're going to select this particular uh, shape file called any 10 meters admin zero countries dot shape file so now let me type that so now we can able to visualize i have typed our shape file location for the string variable fc and make sure that you get uh, written exactly as I have got here. So for any Python novices, so the R at the beginning is used as a Python to treat what's between the double quotes as a raw string because, because uh, otherwise a single black slashes gets interpreted as a escape character. So next then I'm going to use the get count tool within the script to count how many features are within that shape file. So now uh, I'm going to type as a num feats equals to arcpython.get. So now to count the number of polygons we have basically created a num feats equals to arcpython.get count. So to count the number of polygons from the shape file called uh, countries boundary. So that is our countries that is 10 meter admin zero countries dot shape file this specific uh, this specific shape file will represent our country's boundary layer the world's world level country's boundary layer so now to uh, we have to feed this uh, variable uh, fc into this bracket for that we're gonna type fc so now i have typed as an fc so i will then print a formatted string that tells me what i have counted and how many features i have counted so now this particular line of codes so this line of uh, codes will plug a value for fc into a string where the token is zero and then the value value of the num field is plugged uh, in for the token one so now i will run the script and say okay to save so now go to the run option and uh, click this option called run module so now click okay to save So now we can view the result here. So now here you can able to visualize our result. So there is a, a total of 255 features in our country's uh, boundary polygon. That is a 10 meter admin country's shape file has a 255 features. So now we can basically the, uh, visualize the result. We told that a shape file has a 255 features. That same number we saw in our previous video using our Python window in ArcGIS Pro. So now let me minimize this Python shell window. So let me uh, get back to our Python script window. So, so now I'm going to do something else that we have did in ArcGIS Pro. So here in idle, we're going to select one country out from the country's shapefile into its own feature class. So, but uh, instead of writing that into a uh, default geodatabase of our intros, that is introduction to Python project, I'm going to create a new file geodatabase named as a sample geodatabase in my uh, data folder and write it there instead. So, so that I can uh, repeatedly overwrite any data created by this script. So, I'm going to set an environment variable uh, that will allow our output to be overwritten. So, to do that, so I will type an art pi dot env that is env dot overwrite outputs equals true as my second line of code. So now let me show you that. So now let me type below this. So we're gonna type arc art pi dot env. So dot we're gonna enter as overwrite. output equals to we're gonna enter as true I will also set another environmental variable to specify the workspace into which any output should be return whenever I do not specify the specify a full path name so to do that I will type this so now we're gonna type is arcpy dot env dot workspace and equals to 
we're gonna mention the the path name so the file geodatabase named as a sample gdb that is geodatabase does not ex exist yet so i will uh, type this uh, line of code to create it is uh, as my second line of code in the script so now let me show you that i'm gonna type that so here the first parameter is the folder where the file geodatabase is to be created so here we are basically mentioned rpy dot create file geodatabase management so it is a folder location where we're going to create our sample geodatabase so now let me explain it once more time so the first parameter will indicate that is uh, the folder where the file geodatabase to be created this first parameter and followed by this is our second parameter so the second parameter is the name that the file geodatabase will be given to select a boundary for uh, for example egypt out its uh, out into its own feature class named egypt so i will type this in my next line so now let me type rpy or python dot select analysis and now we're going to type as a fc comma so you know as a fc here represents our the path for our uh, the boundary polygon the country's boundary polygon so now have uh, typed as fc comma so now have typed as not by dot select analysis fc and we have entered we have mentioned as an egypt a name equals to egypt so basically what we are doing is we are selecting from a shape file which is stored in a variable named called fc into the feature class named uh, named egypt and choosing any polygon uh, with the value egypt in the name field so now let us run this code so go to the option called run and click this option called run module now click ok to save and run so this is our uh, Python shell window to visualize the result. So now I have run it once more again. Once again, it gave uh, no error reports. So you can able to see that I have run it. So it didn't give any uh, error results. So it gave no errors. So I will uh, assume that it run okay. So now to uh, double check that the Egypt features class was created, I will start our RGIS Pro. So now I have uh, opened our RGIS for RGIS Pro software. So in that, make sure that in the previous video, we have done the introduction to Python video in our GIS Pro. So in that project, we're going to select the catalog. So basically catalog will be available in the view section and you can click this option called catalog pan. So a window popped up saying catalog. So here we're going to select this folder, click this down arrow. So in that we're going to able to see this called data source, select that. So in data source, we're going to place this arrow again. So here you can able to visualize of a sample geodatabase. So there we can able to see that a sample geodatabase file. So now let's check uh, inside this uh, geodatabase, click this arrow. So inside the feature class named Egypt is uh, inside it. So I will uh, drag and drop this into our map. So I will gonna drop this here. Let me drop here. So it is added over uh, Egypt into our country's boundary or into our content section in table of contents. Let me turn off the other layers. So now we can able to view our Egypt here. Now let me turn on the other layers, country's boundary layer. This is our country's boundary layer and this is our Egypt. So now let me zoom it. We're gonna get the map centered on Egypt. For that, right click. We're going to select this option called zoom to layer. So now we have zoomed uh, onto our Egypt boundary, country's boundary. Now let me turn off other layers. So now we can able to visualize our Egypt. So now let us save this. Go to the project section and click save. So now let me change the color of our, uh, sh sh that is our Egypt boundary, country's boundary layer. So for that, right click and you can choose a color of your choice. So now let me select this particular color. Uh, let me select this blue color, this is green. 
Now let me turn our country's boundary layer. Let me select another color. I will select this. So now you can able to uh, visualize our the country's boundary of Egypt. So now to uh, at last to save this project, click this option called save the project. So click this. So in this video I have shown you. So in this video I have shown you introduction to a uh, Python ideal and I have shown you the get count function to count the number of feature class in our country's boundary polygon. And last we have selected a particular country's boundary layer using our select uh, tool. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.